guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Brittany Bear Makeup here, and today is going to be a really different video on my channel. It is going to be a fitness video. I'm not gonna show you how to work out in today's video just yet, but I'm gonna be counting down five things that you should know before you actually start working out. So with that being said, guys, hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications and keep on watching as I tell you guys five things you should know before you start your fitness journey. You are now, now rocking with Brittany, bitch. All right, Bear Fam, I am so excited to finally be able to share these types of videos with you guys. And I thought, why not start from the very beginning? So I was thinking the other day, what are five things that you learned during your fitness journey, Brittany, that you would wanna share with people before they actually get into this? So I sat down, grabbed a handy dandy paper and some pen, and I went in and I wrote the notes of the things that I think are really important for you guys to know before you get into this. So we're gonna go ahead and count down, starting with number one. All right guys, so number one. So I know many of us, when we first start a fitness journey, we start off with an idea of how we want our body to look. And by that, we go online, we find a picture, and we're like, all right, in five months, five weeks, two days, I wanna look like this. Well, the first tip I have for you guys is to have realistic expectations. So by that, you guys would be very surprised to know that every single body has a different composition. So there are actually a total of three different body types. I did not know this at all, but today I'm gonna be walking you through each body type so that you guys can find out which one you have and then learn a little bit more about your body. So the first body type is going to be an ectomorph. So an ectomorph is basically gonna be lean. They're typically a little bit longer, more pear-shaped. I myself am an ectomorph and it's extremely hard for me to gain muscle. So that is the characteristic traits of an ectomorph. Now the next body type is a mesomorph. So a mesomorph is someone who's gonna be more well-built, they're gonna be muscular, they're gonna have more symmetry to their body. You know that one person that you typically see just get fit out of nowhere super fast and you're just kind of jealous and you compare yourself to? That is typically a mesomorph, someone who just naturally builds muscle quicker and has that more sturdy, hearty body. So the last body type is an endomorph. And an endomorph is someone who stores body fat. They normally get tired very easily when working out, they have a larger appetite, as well as it's very hard for them to lose weight. So that's gonna be your heavier set built body. That is gonna be an endomorph. So the reason why it's so important for you guys to understand your body type is so that you can have realistic expectations. Me being an endomorph, it's so freaking hard for me to gain muscle. And I can't go into my fitness journey thinking in two, three, weeks that I'm gonna be this muscular bodybuilder. It's just not realistic. So that is number one. All right guys, so number two on my countdown is going to be once you know what body type you are, you wanna know what workouts and diet plans are gonna work for your specific body type. So if you are an ectomorph like myself and you struggle with gaining body mass, building muscle, it's really gonna be important for you to have a high carb and high protein diet. And by that, that doesn't mean go to In-N-Out and eat a protein burger and tons of french fries. It means good carbs. What are good carbs? Let's talk about sweet potatoes, yams, jasmine rice. Those are all amazing carbs for your body. That's gonna feed your body to help build muscle. Also, you're gonna want lean protein. And lean protein is like 99% turkey. I'm not gonna lie guys, it tastes like rubber balls. It is painful to eat, but you will get the most incredible results if you can actually do it. Chicken breast, things like that that are very lean in your protein. That is gonna help an ectomorph gain their muscle and also keep lean. Now workouts for an ectomorph are going to be you actually doing a lot of weightlifting, things like that. You're gonna wanna avoid cardio as much as others because typically it's a lot harder for us to gain mass. So you're really gonna wanna hold on to every single calorie you have. So that is what an ectomorph should kind of more or less be guiding towards. So someone who's a mesomorph is gonna wanna do a lot of their carbohydrates, lean proteins, as well as their healthy fats. Healthy fats, a lot of people wonder, what is a healthy fat? Avocado, almonds, things like that that are healthy, that are gonna give your omega-3s, are gonna really help your body build muscle. So a mesomorph is actually gonna really benefit from plyometrics, which are like box jumps, anything that is causing you to have big movement in your body, that is what they're gonna want 
want to lean more towards. Now, quick disclaimer, guys, before I finish this, I am not a nutritionist and I am brand new to this, but I did my research and a lot of trial and error during my own personal fitness journey. So these are the things that I have gathered up. Do not take my advice 100%. Go out there and research for yourself because I promise you, you're gonna benefit from learning about your own body type and really finding what works for you. So the last category is an endomorph. And because endomorphs hold on to body fat a little bit more than others, just being active in general is really gonna help you. Going on a walk, taking a bike ride, rolling down in skates, anything that gets your heart rate up. You wanna get that heart rate up because that's what's gonna help you burn your fat. Also, when it comes to food, you're gonna wanna be a little bit more careful. You're gonna want more fiber in your diet. You're gonna want less carbs. You're gonna want more healthy, lean proteins. So that's why, guys, it is so important for you to understand what body type you are, what workouts are gonna work for your body type, and what foods you should be intaking for your body type. So number three, four, and five kind of fall into the category of supplements. Supplements are going to be a drastic game changer for your fitness journey. If you're trying to lose weight, then you can do your cardio and you can lose the weight. But if you're trying to build muscle and have definition and actually show a difference in your body, you are definitely gonna want to intake supplements. So there are tons of different proteins out there and I highly recommend that once you figure out your body type, you research what protein is gonna benefit your body. Right now, I specifically am trying a couple different ones. I am trying a weight gainer. Now there's a lot of negative things I've heard about that, but someone like myself who's a little bit more petite and needs more calories can try a weight gainer to see if it can help build muscle. I personally do not want to give advice as to what protein you should use for your specific self. However, I do want to say that it's very important for you to try what works for you and understand your body so that you can get the perfect one. So we are now down to number four. Number four is really exciting because I had no idea what this was until I started going to my gym and I was introduced to the famous famous product of glutamine. So glutamine is an amino acid that basically is already inside your body. You naturally produce glutamine. However, once you start working out, about 50% of your own glutamine is decreased in your body. And so it's really important to restore that glutamine. And I personally take two to three scoops a day. Sometimes you can do one depending on yourself. So glutamine is really cool because it's actually going to help with your muscle recovery. And by that, I mean, I would go to the gym one day, go home, hard when I had no idea what I was doing and I would be paralyzed the next two days. Then I was introduced to glutamine and I realized that it literally heals and restores your muscles, allowing you to feel soreless the next day and go just as hard. So glutamine is extremely important if you are gonna be weight training or if you're gonna be doing some heavy workouts, you are gonna help your muscles recover so the next day you're ready to pop, lock, and drop it. So in the same category as glutamine, I incorporated BCAAs. BCAAs are basically basically a group of essential amino acids. And the reason why I categorize these together is because they're both amino acids. They are three amino acids that basically help boost muscle growth. They're gonna enhance exercise performance, help with weight loss and fatigue. These are really important things to learn about before you start your journey so that you can see how to get the best results. So with that being said, guys, we're gonna talk about number five, which to me was the most controversial because I just didn't understand if this was something necessary. Number five is pre-workout. So a lot of pre-workouts are actually thermogenics, meaning that they're actually going to create heat into your body and make you sweat more. You're gonna feel more amped and pumped and you're actually going to feel stronger. And it's also gonna prevent premature fatigue. So altogether, it is going to help you get the best workout without you feeling super tired or that you can't actually do anything. That's what's incredible about all of the supplements that I talked about. They all go hand in hand to help you create the best results possible. That is number five, guys. We have counted down the five things I wish I knew before I started to work out. I am telling you, they are all game changers. If you guys want to start your fitness journey and this is something you're passionate about and you want results and you want to see them fast, if you really look into each one of these categories that I talked to you guys about today and you sit down, analyze your body type, what workouts work for you, what proteins, what things are going to help you get your best results, give it 
five months, four months, you are going to have incredible results. Take it from someone like myself who went from 27% body fat to 17% body fat in five months. That is just from the knowledge that I picked up from my trainer as well as online and just doing some research on my own personal fitness journey. You guys, I'm so excited about these types of videos. If you guys enjoyed today's video, you found it informative, then make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, comment down below and let me know you guys wanna see more videos like this. I promise you, it is not the last one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I wanna give my post notification shout out to Miguel Anaya. Thank you so much for having your post notifications on. I love you so much and thank you for being a part of the Bear family. Thank you for watching today's video. I love you all so much and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.